The Secretary General is heading back to New York from Istanbul, Turkey, wrapping up a trip that took him to six countries in 12 days. This morning in Istanbul, he addressed the second forum of the Alliance of Civilizations, a joint Spanish-Turkish initiative under UN auspices that seeks to address the polarization between societies and cultures today. In his statement, the Secretary General said that the Alliance gives us a chance to consign identity-based divisiveness to the past and to recognize our common humanity before it is too late. We have his full remarks upstairs. And today in Istanbul, the Secretary General met with the Spanish Prime Minister, Jose Luis Rodriguez Zapatero, <coughs> with whom he discussed forthcoming Donors Conference for Haiti and Somalia, food security, and last week's Group of 20 Summit. He also met with the Foreign Minister of Austria and the President of Slovenia, and attended the luncheon hosted by Turkish Prime Minister Recep Tayyip Erdogan. Over the weekend, the Secretary General chaired a meeting in Paris of the UN System's Chief Executive Board for Coordination, the CEB, in what he believed was a timely and significant session to devise a follow-up strategy to the G20 summit across the UN system and the Bretton Woods institution. On Saturday evening, the Secretary General had a meeting with French Foreign Minister Bernard Kouchner, and he told the press afterward that he was counting on France to provide a generous contribution to a forthcoming Donors Conference on Somalia. His press remarks are uh, available online. The Secretary General is headed back to New York, but will be off again before week's end. This time he's traveling to Asia, first to Laos for an official visit, and then to Thailand for the summit of the Association of Southeast Asian Nations, ASEAN. From Asia, he plans to travel back to the United States to attend the Donors Conference on Haiti in Washington, D.C. The Secretary General will be briefing the General Assembly on his trip tomorrow afternoon. His monthly press conference is expected toward the middle of the month. We will let you know a date as soon as we have confirmed one.